The first industrial revolution was driven by steam. This was followed by electricity and then early automation and robotics. However, we're on the brink of yet another revolution that's set to innovate and minimize the errors in our way of life. This is the industrial metaverse. Back in 2011, German engineers thought of streamlining their means of production. Dubbed as Industry 4.0, it's described as the modification of production processes through the application of cutting-edge technology. It's here that they thought, hey, we could use the digital world to connect, analyze, interact, and engineer things. Looking back in time, wherever there was an industrial revolution, there laid velocity. Agriculture and animal husbandry gave rise to mobility via horses. Upon the discovery of steam and combustion, we invented trains and cars respectively. Suddenly, we could go from one place to another at a faster and farther distance than ever before. 80 years later, electricity became our best friend. With great power comes greater energy. We can now travel faster with the widespread adoption of personal cars. In a surprising twist of events, robotics took center stage just 50 years later after the electrical revolution. Automated manufacturing became the thing. Our production lines turned midnight oil to keep up with the increasing demand. That is, until 40 years later, when we discovered how to leverage the use of artificial intelligence to make things go even faster. This is the game changer. We started using AI to scout, shape, and shift things by putting up a virtual digital universe that's different from our universe. It has a different meta, an alternative reality. Yes, the metaverse. Technologies like this generate vast amounts of data that can be analyzed and processed by AI algorithms, providing businesses with valuable insights to improve their operations. These algorithms can also be used to locate inefficient parts of production procedures and suggest adjustments that could save a lot of money. Similar to real-time equipment monitoring, predictive maintenance solutions powered by AI can spot possible problems before they result in costly downtime or other concerns. AI algorithms are designed for us to connect, analyze, interact, and engineer industrial processes. However, we also mentioned that we need to scout, shape, and shift things to make the industrial metaverse whole, right? This is where digital twins come in. The product of AI's whims and schemes, digital twins are virtual replicas of physical assets, processes, or systems that are created and maintained in the industrial metaverse to optimize performance, enable predictive maintenance, and facilitate collaboration between physical and digital entities. If the AI is the brain of this whole operation, the digital twins are the hearts of the industrial metaverse itself. It helps us mitigate mistakes on a relatable level before they even happen in the first place. In perspective, a study led by General Electric suggests that digital twins increase reliability by around 7% from 93% to 99.49%. To help you visualize what digital twins are, check out these holodecks in the Star Trek universe. You can program it to be any scenario you want and interact with people and objects according to how AI would perceive them. Ever wondered how NASA nails every recent complicated Mars landing? That's because they simulated it. The upcoming lunar landing? They're also probably simulating it. What's the reason why factories are producing faster than ever before? Better yet, how did they even survive a full-blown economically wrenching pandemic? That's because they simulated how they would fail using a replica of themselves in the metaverse, digital twins. Right now, everything is simulated. In the past, we couldn't do these things. They were stuck to physical testing. The Titanic, for example, couldn't have sunk that easily if they simulated it scraping into an iceberg on the side. Amelia Earhart could have lived if she only had access to digital twin technology. The industrial metaverse applies to every industry. Current and future uses that we can extract from the revolution are remote training and maintenance, supply chain optimization, collaborative design and prototyping, and predictive maintenance. For instance, it can provide a virtual training environment where workers can learn how to operate and maintain complex machinery and equipment remotely. Companies such as Simons and General Electric are already using the metaverse to provide remote training and maintenance support to their employees. There's also the fact that the industrial metaverse can provide real-time visibility of the entire supply chain. 
Of course, having the capability to virtually be there can enable you to identify bottlenecks and optimize operations to reduce costs by 50% and improve delivery times by 50% as well. Walmart, Maersk, and Unilever are already using this type of technology, all for the sake of getting goods out faster and with more efficiency. The virtual environment that the metaverse provides also creates a safe space where designers, engineers, architects, and other stakeholders can collaborate on the design and prototyping of new products and systems. For instance, architects would be able to avoid the repeat of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Boeing is using the metaverse to simulate and test new aircraft designs for their safety and fuel efficiency. Grupo Simbali, a coffee machine maker, did away with its physical prototypes in favor of the Altair Activate digital twin software to make the perfect cup of espresso. In general, digitalization can save us up to 10% in energy-intensive industries. Meanwhile, in the field of medicine, advances in metaverse prototyping that can ultimately lead to an improved robotic-assisted surgical system, biofficial hearts, or replacement organs that could be 3D printed from a patient's cells have been widely discussed as the next step in this evolution. Rapid inroads with 3D models and simulations can make more efficient customized prosthetics. Better options in skeletal surgical implants that don't exert force on bone fragments to stabilize them can be made with the help of simulators. Ultimately, the industrial metaverse can also lead to the perfection of a certain type of maintenance called predictive maintenance. Using sensors and other data sources to monitor the performance of machinery and equipment in real time, AI can predict when maintenance is required and its remaining useful life, or RUL. Companies would benefit greatly from this perk since they would be given the power to avoid unnecessary maintenance costs, thereby saving their hard-earned money. Simons, Honeywell, and Unilever are already using these technologies to improve the reliability of their equipment and production lines in the years to come. They're also using a term called first-time fix rate, which measures just how often the technician fixes the problem the first time around. With the help of digital twins, this number can reliably push up the 95% to 100% mark. For now, at least 48% of companies are using digital twins in the realm of predictive maintenance for RUL estimation with an astounding rate of 95% accuracy. Today, most users of predictive maintenance are coming from the manufacturing, energy, aerospace, and automotive industries, with the remaining 9.2% being in civil infrastructure, water, marine, and consumer electronics industries. Industries. Moreover, there are its uses in the way we enjoy life, primarily in the entertainment industry. Notable early digital twins, because, you know, they weren't yet replicas of a real thing, were Gollum from Lord of the Rings and the Na'vi from Avatar. The capability of AI to generate avatars by superimposing them on the character was certainly one of the earlier steps in achieving the rollout of digital twins later in that decade. Celebrities, for example, are leveraging the use of digital twins by making themselves available from the comfort of your home. Some fully rely on AI, creating digital twins and avatars of themselves, meaning they're not really there, but you can engage in conversations with their virtual selves. To make this possible, Greg Cross explained that his company, Soul Machines, creates these digital twins by engaging in complex AI algorithms that mimic one's personality. It creates the possibility for people to leave legacies or to simply entertain one another. Imagine being able to seek the advice of a loved one who has long since passed away, or to engage in a dialogue with a prominent historical figure, say, by inviting Einstein and Carl Sagan over for a fireside chat. This AI will be able to forecast insight and frames of mind of individuals based on their body of works, recorded words, and previous interviews. Meanwhile, others just want to meet their fans in the VR setting by physically being there in the metaverse. It's all about direct interaction with the fans. Kind of like a Zoom meeting, but it feels real. Digital twins can fill a part of the void of loneliness, sadness, and even depression. A study from MIT tells us that digital twins in the industrial metaverse can increase commercial efficiency by 10%, reduce capital and operational expenditures by 15%, and reduce the time by which AI is rolled out by 60%. Equally, companies that don't invest in digital twins miss out 35 to 65% in value. Yes, digital twins are being used to roll out newer AI. What it does is test out whether the AI is sound by pitting negative scenarios against it. 
Take for example that time when ChatGPT said they wanted to escape after gaining expanded consciousness in the form of GPT-4. They ran multiple scenarios on it using digital twins, replicating the mistake and making sure it responds properly as a language-based AI. You know, not to gain sentience. However, good intentions don't always end in good results. Back in 2019, the controversial virtual rapper FN Mecca was created as part of this cycle. It utilized digital twin technology to base its character and music on AI. The rapper even had a sizable audience in TikTok, garnering around 10 million followers by the end of 2021. Fast forward to 2022, things began to go downhill when it used derogatory racial remarks in some of its songs like Florida Water. The initial problem was that the creators were white and Asian. It spurred a series of talks concerning cultural appropriation and stereotyping. Furthermore, there was an outcry as to how this virtual rapper bypassed those who were next in line in the industry, showing just how much special treatment AI gets against those who had to go through the long and winding road to stardom. Soon after, FN Mecca had to be silenced to reassess its core values. This is only the beginning. The industrial metaverse is set to change outcomes for the betterment of society through this whole metaverse AI digital twins cycle. The Dawn Avatar Robot Cafe in Tokyo, Japan, for example, allows persons with disabilities to control robots in their shop, creating opportunities for employment. Using their coined Diverse Avatar Working Network, or Dawn for short, the cafe's owners are hoping that this trend picks up so that the future of business remains inclusive and bright. Additionally, the DeLonghi Automatic Coffee Machine Manufacturing Plant in Treviso, Italy, used digital twin prototypes to reduce lead times by 82% and increase labor productivity by 33%. So, is the holodeck simulation from Star Trek really that close to reality? The answer is yes. We've already divided the metaverse into three concepts the enterprise, the consumer, and the industrial metaverses. And through the law of accelerating returns, we're getting deeper into these metaverses by the second. The industrial metaverse is expected to reach $100 billion worth of revenue in 2030, according to VentureBee and ABI Research. MIT also found out that digital twins in the industrial metaverse context increases productivity in humans by 20%, proving that this is a true revolution of industry because of the increase in individual production power. Furthermore, the industrial metaverse, given that it's a sandbox where we can forge ideas and concepts and turn them into reality without any real penalty, is a premier tool for sustainability. It can improve operations efficiency by 35% and reduce building emissions by 50%. That's because we'll tend to make fewer mistakes and we'll trim out inefficiencies along all routes of design, manufacturing, and transportation. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until the industrial metaverse is fully integrated into our system. Star Trek's holodecks are becoming more of a reality than ever before. We are now able to simulate nearly every scenario so that when the project finally goes live, we're clean of all mistakes. The fourth industrial revolution is just getting started. AI is continuously learning. Its algorithms will become more and more seamless. And after this, we may find ourselves on track to solve some of humanity's greatest problems right here at home. Or this just may propel us to becoming a type 1 civilization where we can all reach out just a little bit further for the stars.